Now we consider reflection and transmission of electromagnetic wave in the boundary between two linear media or the interface between two linear media as shown in the figure. The one in the circle we have uh, written one that means it is one media and uh, uh, two is the second media. So first media and second media and we see the interface between the two media. There an electromagnetic wave, a plain uh, polarized uh, electromagnetic wave uh, hits the interface normal to it. Okay, so a plane uh, pol polarized electromagnetic wave uh, falls or uh, it's at the interface, then at the interface, and uh, it is uh, of frequency omega and uh, it is traveling in z direction. The interface is in the xy plane. Okay. At z equal to 0, we have the xy plane. On the left side of that uh, z equal to 0 plane, we have the media 1, and on the right hand side, we have media 2. Okay. The plane wave of frequency omega traveling in set direction it is polarized in x direction why because uh, as shown there the electric field is in uh, x direction so it is polarized in x direction and it approaches the interface from the left as shown in the figure so ei is the corresponding real electric field and Bi is the corresponding real magnetic field and Vi, um, sorry V1, it is the velocity with which the wave is traveling in the media 1. Electric field is in positive x direction and uh, the magnetic field is in positive y direction. The electric field and magnetic field are perpendicular and uh, the velocity v1 with which the wave is advancing in the z direction and it reaches the interface. There a part of the incident electromagnetic wave gets reflected. It travels back towards negative z direction so uh, that is shown by uh, ER and BR, the associated electric field and magnetic field with the uh, reflected wave. Electric field is in positive x direction, magnetic field is in negative y direction. As the reflection occurs, electric field and magnetic field changes direction and it travels with velocity v1 in the negative z direction away from the interface. Okay, then uh, the transmitted wave. A part of uh, uh, the ultramagnetic wave falling at the interface travels uh, or gets into medium 2 okay it gets into medium 2 where z is greater than 0 and it is the transmitted part of the electromagnetic wave and it is uh, its electric field or the real electric field is et it's along the x direction real magnetic field is pt it's along the y direction and it travels with velocity v2 
So it is uh, shown here. Okay. So uh, EI, BI, the electric field, magnetic field corresponding to electromagnetic wave uh, incident at the interface traveling in set direction. ER, BR are the electric field and magnetic field corresponding to the reflected wave. And uh, uh, the ET and BT are the electric field and magnetic field associated with the wave which is transmitted into the medium too. See here uh, the electromagnetic wave is incident normal to the interface, normal to the interface. So this is the situation uh, that is happening for a plane wave of frequency omega traveling in set direction incident uh, on the interface. The equations for the complex, the complex uh, vector equations for the incident uh, reflected and transmitted waves are shown. Here uh, we see the complex vector EI for the incident wave at uh, set T that is given by E0I the complex amplitude EI K1 set minus omega T X because unit vector X because it is in X direction as shown here positive X direction okay uh, and BI of set T that is equal to B0I, complex B0I, but we know B0 is equal to E0 by velocity. B0 by, sorry, B0 is equal to E0 by the velocity we have seen in the previous section. So uh, it is uh, equal to E0, BI of set T, the complex vector that is equal to E0 i complex quantity by V1, the velocity in the linear media, E i k1 z minus omega t, y, it's in y direction, magnetic field. So this is the incident uh, wave. The reflected wave is shown here, E r of z t, that is equal to E0 of r, uh, exponential e to the power minus i k1 set okay k1 here we have taken uh, minus set because it is uh, in the uh, it is advancing in the negative z direction uh, minus k1 set minus omega t Uh, x direction, the electric field is still in the x direction for the reflected wave and the magnetic field you know it is in the negative y direction, magnetic field is in negative uh, y direction so BR of set is equal to E0 of R by V1 minus A we put because it is in negative direction, negative y direction so EI minus K1 set again as uh, we saw in the previous equation, it's in the negative set direction. So minus k1 z minus omega t y. Okay. Then uh, the transmitted wave, the wave uh, traveling through the medium, the, the wave traveling from medium 1 to medium 2, traveling through medium 2, the transmitted part that is given by a0 t, uh, E t, the transmitted part set t is equal to the amplitude E0 t, E i k2 z. Okay, so in the medium 2, uh, the propagation uh, constant that is k2, the medium 1 it is k1, so here k2, it's in z direction, positive z direction, minus omega t, x, unit vector x in the x direction and the magnetic field, the complex magnetic field Bt set equal to 
V0 T by V2, sorry B0 T, before B0 T we are giving E0 T by V2, the V2 is the velocity in the medium to exponential i K2Z minus omega T y unit vector y. Okay. So, uh, these are the equations for the electric field, uh, magnetic field in the medium 1, medium 2. Okay. And uh, remember this is uh, happening normal to the interface. Okay, the electromagnetic wave are traveling normal to the uh, interface. So, we, we are considering reflection and transmission at normal incidence.